Hi, welcome to another episode of Banking Insights. My name is Alexander Eertmans, and today I'm joined by two experts. One from retail, Lauren, one from payments, Gerald. If I think about retail and payments, first thing I always think of, I'm in a supermarket and in the end I have to pay. Quite a nuisance. Am I the only one facing that, Lauren? No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. A lot of customers are looking for frictionless and uh, seamless payments. I get that. And uh, obviously we just came out of a, a big pandemic, COVID. Are there any impacts or changes after that? Yes, a lot of customers are looking for contactless payments. They are looking to, uh, to, to pay by their mobile phone, for example. All right, so basically you're saying it has to be as easy and swift as possible. Yes. And this, I guess, is where you come in, Gerald, to facilitate. That is correct. As a clear example is that uh, pre-COVID, you had a long queues and frustration at the point of sale when you do your checkout of your, of your purchases and uh, a lot of hassle for customers. COVID has accelerated that process and now clients are actually being service at the tip of their fingers in order to actually clearly uh, check out their purchases and goods without having to stand in long queues. All right, uh, Laura, and then a question for you. So how would this journey look like in the future for me if everything is going to your plans, so to say, to make it frictionless? To make it more frictionless, yeah. uh, what we see in the near future is that you can just grab some items out of the store and you just walk out and it gets charged to your account or uh, through your credit card, for example. Are you kidding me, Gerald? Is that actually possible? I can see that this is a wish from retail side, mm -hmm. but come on, be this honest. It's definitely uh, possible, Alexander. Even now today, yeah. if you go uh, to Amazon, uh, the supermarket, which is the Amazon Go store, yeah. you walk in into the store yeah. just by using your mobile. The store knows who you are. Yeah. You grab your stuff, everything you would like to do. You would put it back. It will also register that. You walk out and it's charged to your preferred uh, payment method. And it's amazing because no friction, no human interaction. You just go in there at the tip of your finger, you grab your stuff and you walk out. Well, that's amazing. That means that supermarkets can really focus on how to ha enable everything for their customers without in the end having to go into all of those real-life wallets. Uh, does this work with a real-life wallet then? or Now it's purely di digital, Alexander. Yeah. And that's actually what is quite amazing at this moment in time is that by using only your phone, which actually enables you to have that uh, frictionless uh, uh, experience, which we call today the consumer con uh, convenience, yeah. you can actually have your personal uh, point of sale device in your hands and you just have to walk out. All right, well, that sounds fantastic. I'd like to thank the two of you. If any of the people watching have any questions, I guess, Lauren, they come to you for retail, to you, Gerald, for anything with payments, or combined, just contact everyone here. I'd like to thank you very much and see you at another episode of Banking Insights. <music>